Thanks for joining us today on Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad here with Dr. Brian Maher, superintendent of the Sioux Falls Public Schools. And we have some wonderful news we've been celebrating. Um, we had 70 teachers nominated for the Dr. Uh, John W. Harris Sioux Falls Teacher of the Year. 70 is amazing. That's a huge number for us. Yeah, I thought it was a lot last year. I think we had 36 or so mm -hmm. to vet and to try to figure out how do you come up with the finalists, finalists. and how do you come up with the one. <laughs> that was hard work when we had 36. <laughs> it has been a lot more work this year starting with 70. But also what a great celebration that is to, to have 70 in the pool of candidates. Right. And these nominations come from um, a wide variety of, of people who uh, recognize a teacher that has made a difference in their life and they go forward and and fill out a nomination form. Think about that. I think that's a critical piece. We have students nominate teachers. We have mm -hmm. teachers nominate teachers. We have parents nominate teachers and we have administrators mm -hmm. nominate teachers. So these come from a variety of areas and so, so somebody uh, had to think about you as exceptional for you to be in the pool. And I, I just think that's a, a great thing, no, no matter where you end up. Somebody recognized you, um, you, your excellence in our profession. So that's a good thing. You know, the other thing, Deanne, last year was the first time I got to go through this. Mm -hmm. And to see behind the scenes what it takes to get nominated, but then also to become a finalist mm -hmm. or to win the whole thing was amazing. It's truly a meaningful thing. And part of the meeting comes with our partner, Vern Eide. Yeah. Just uh, unbelievable, selfless act. Uh, and and the, the program would be okay, but it would be incomplete without their partnership. Absolutely. They've been sponsoring the Teacher of the Year program since its inception. And so, fantastic. They offer a $4,000 cash prize to the teacher to use however he or she wishes, and um, also then that nomination goes on to the regional uh, consideration and for the state consideration of Teacher of the Year as well. Um, really great, I had the opportunity to go along with you as you were making some of the announcements um, last year to the finalists. What's that like? Far more emotional than I would have thought, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be better prepared this year. There was a, there was one finalist last year, who went, and. It, you kind of know why we're walking in. I think most teachers know the timing and, mm -hmm. and when this might happen. But when you walk in with uh, colleagues and you walk in with board members and you walk in with a bouquet of flowers, sure. um, it's, it's pretty emotional. And we try to do that when they're in a classroom. And we had one teacher that just went to her desk and broke down immediately. And <laughs> Head down on the desk and there were <laughs> others that broke, tears of others disbelief. Others that broke down after Believe. we left. And, yes. and so, so there's, a, there's a wide range of emotion that, that uh, goes along with the yeah. selection. Just shows how very much they appreciate people taking the time to make that nomination. Very much so. Yeah. Well, very good. Uh, we are going to name the winner of the Sioux Falls Teacher of the Year on March 27th at a an invite dessert reception. And so you'll hear more about who that finalist and that winner is coming up soon. Thanks for joining us on Envision.